Okay, let's get into it. Chisel and a hammer. Time for more clicky clicky. Just think of how much these Dark Parable games have grown from the first one. And how much the nostalgia just still hits hard, you know? So chat, what are your thoughts? Should I play Briar Rose number one next? Or should I go to number four? What are your thoughts? Oh, that's a cool looking hammer. Briar Rose, you think so? Yeah, Rose? Okay. If that's the general consensus, we'll do Briar Rose. And then we'll go and do number four. So I've mentioned a few times, number four was my absolute first Dark Parables I ever played. Briar Rose is a classic, just not much on the adventure side. Hmm. So I'm already in a tricky scene here. Yes, Briar Rose! Briar Rose is very beautiful and peaceful. Okay. I'm pretty sure I played Briar Rose. It's been obviously a hot minute. These two items here should be super simple to find. I gotta lean in here, because I'm... Wait, is leaning it in better or sitting back? Hmm. Red Riding Hood Sisters. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's what hooked me. I was like, what is this game? I want to play all of these. Red Riding Hood Sisters. Like, I just love, like, uh, the later games start to get more, like, anime. Actually, you kind of see it in number three. I feel a little more like anime. Very heavy in the Japanese vibe. Leaning back is better, Gibbs. Are you sure? I feel like this allows me to just, you know, see everything better. Can't wait to play Cinderella Curse again. Okay, so this is going to clearly take me a while. So let's just kind of go at it here. Oh, we already built this. Okay, so we only actually need this piece here. Okay, let's see if I can find it before the hint adds up. So it's like this right here. Hiding in the shadows. I feel like we each have our favorite Dark Parables game, right? Like, so... Chat, what, what would you consider your absolute favorite Dark Parables? Whoa, look at how cool the hammer and chisel is. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Have you played the Longest Journey games? No, I have not. But I have made a list of adventure point-and-click games I want to play this year. Mine is Ballad of Rapunzel. Mm. Very, very elegant tools. Look at these things. So let's go ahead and chisel our way through here. The Snow White game? Oh, that was the Rise of the Snow Queen? Wait, that didn't work? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Maybe we'll go over here and try. Yeah, there we go. Let's do this. The Red Riding Hood. My absolute favorite is this one. It sets up the lore for all the other Dark Parable games. You know what? The lore in this game is amazing. I fully agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Portrait nameplate. 
Dive right back in. Ladybug. Who doesn't like the ladybugs? The 2D art in this series is incredible. Mm-hmm. We need a crowbar. The Phantasmid ones are fun and spooky. I agree, and I actually still need to go and play Phantasmid 1 and 2. Oh, I thought that was going to be it, but it's not. They're definitely starting to make these a little more tricky. I suggest trying Cake Mania. Hmm, I don't think I've played any of the Mania games. So we have two more sections to go here. Where are you? I thought it might be that, but it's not. So something f fancy and something flat. And the music in this game is actually pretty good too. Top notch game. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, one more to go, one more to go. And it's this piece right here. Mm -hmm. I actually do also plan to get back into replaying the Artifix Mundi games too. Oh, there it is, gotcha. And Lost Lands, oh my God. I got, my list is way too big. Dark Parables, though. That is my primary this year. We're going to get into the Dark Parables. And Nancy Drew, too. Need to do some of that. So, this appears to be a portal. I wonder how I can activate it. The tombstone reads, Queen. Given the location, this resting area could belong to Snow White's mother. Interesting. The door is missing an emblem. Portrait nameplate. Oh, we'll put that over here, I guess. And then we can uh, sew it up. Oh, I need fabric first. Well, crud. <laughs> So we're going to need a hunk of fabric, are we? Can I throw this up there? I cannot. Hmm. Interesting. Metallic statue arm. No, it doesn't go there. The music is hauntingly beautiful. I don't know why they've got the whispering. What's up with the whispering? Use the statue arm on the urn? This urn here? Oh, jeez. Thank you! Gibbs needs a mermaid. I mean, don't we all? What would I do with a mermaid? This is a painting of the el of an elderly woman. She's holding a red apple and is joined by a ghostly skeletal figure. I can only make out the title of this paper. Details pertain to the death of the godmother. Gear wheel. Okay, well, that's gonna go here. Hit it! Wow. 
what did we do? Uh... Okay, we made- oh wow, we lower this to the ground. Interesting. Bedroom key! That's gonna come in handy. A bedroom key. Yeah, the hint button is is very neat. I think I... who mentioned this? Was it you, Grimy, that mentioned this in the last stream? That you take the item and you drop it in the hint? Mind blown. I had never known this and I would played every one of these Dark Parable games. I've never even picked up on that. Oh, wasn't you? Oh my god. Somebody mentioned it the last time I was playing. Oh, it was you, Daylight. Holy crap. Sorry. Yeah, that literally blew my mind. <laughs> I feel like I would have had a completely different experience if I had known that was the case. <laughs> Live and learn, right? Live and learn. Thank you, Dalek. Appreciate you. Got some lovely butterflies in here. Live, love, laugh? No, live, lo live, laugh, love. Are you trying to say eat, pray, love? Hmm. You could also do this in Mystery Case Files, Return to Ravenhurst? Really? Huh. Today I learned. Something like that, of course. Wasn't it Eat, Pray, Love? Yeah, I... Th That's the book, isn't it? That is what it is. You can do it whatever order you choose. You can do eat, 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 pray, 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 love, love, love. Whatever works. Music. <sighs> Gibbs is never gonna not have pending games? Yeah. I, I've said it many times, right? I know we're not getting a lot of new games in this hidden object space, but my God, we got so many amazing games that we can revisit. They're almost like new again. I would rather like they release fewer and make them better than like, let's be honest, right? Like there was a glut there where it was like half these games they were making were not good at all. It was definitely quantity over quality at that point. Okay, so I need a feather and whatever this thing is. Those fairy figurines look ornate. They do look lovely, don't they? And I've had this conversation with you folks many times. Like, I would rather have a short, high-quality game versus a long, low-quality game. Okay, let's we'll try this. Okay, so now we just need this feathery object here. Feathers. And the best part is they don't age. Even the older HOPs are still stunning. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, let me, I'll be honest with you, right? I never played MCF 1, 2, 3, or even 4, I don't think. I, I just, I tried. I can't. <laughs> can't play those ones. I tried. I can't do it. I considered it a, f a few months ago and I loaded one up. I was like, nope. Nope, nope, nope. This is not gonna happen. Excellent! We have another fancy key, and we have the bedroom key. So let's go see what's in the bedroom. Well, I, I just liked when Mystery Case Files became adventure-based, right? You know what I mean? Ooh, look at the gorgeous lady on the wall. Hello there. 
You definitely look like Snow White. This is a well-painted portrait of Princess Snow White before she became the Snow Queen. The jewelry box is missing a heart-shaped gem. MCF1 is all hidden object, no puzzle, no adventure. Yeah, and just like super janky. <laughs> but I, you know, like look, people, the purists will say, you know, well, if you don't play the original, how dare you enjoy the later ones? I'm like, I'll enjoy what I want to enjoy. Nobody needs to be gating our fun, you know? Play the games you like. Play them how you like. A left gemmed snowflake. Some people like to gatekeep. Yeah, and those people can fly a kite, as far as I'm concerned. I've come across many of them over the years who had lots of opinions on what I did on YouTube or, or what I didn't do. And I was like, I'm fine. You can go ahead and suck a lemon if you'd like. <laughs> this definitely looks like an average fairy tale girl's bed. Like, what's with all these freaking pillows? This girl's got all the pillows she could ever need. Right? Fully agree with that assessment. Okay, we've got two more objects here. Go take, go tell them to take a long walk up a short pier. That's kind of my mindset. I remember when people tried to shame me that I played one game that they didn't like. Yeah. The clothes, the fan, and next to the fan. Oh, gotcha. So we just need one more piece. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Hey, I like the pillows. Okay, but Kat, do you need one, two, three, four, five of them? Like, seriously? 